Somebody I know is getting a roadster. Somebody, I can't say names, but they're getting a roadster. And uh, maybe by the time you see this, he or she will have already announced it. But that is exciting news. I mean, there's a lot of people getting roadsters. But I know this person. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today is uh, November 9th. Don't know when you'll be watching this. Don't know when I'll have time to put it up. But I want to show you something. November 9th, here in the GTA, Southern Ontario. And this is the crap we have to deal with. Look at that. But you know what? It's not a bad thing. Uh, it's the end of the week. At the beginning of the week, I got these uh, winter tires on. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll put a link in the description above. And check that out. And we're going to try them out. Maybe it's nice and cold that, um, that I'll actually get my regen back. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's a lot of snow. That's by... Well, it's really right here. By any uh, stretch of imagination for out west or people elsewhere, it's not a lot of snow. I know. We're in southern Ontario. We get spoiled and we complain a lot when we just get that little tiny bit of snow. We complain. That tiny, tiny bit. adventure <laughs> uh, I've got about 45 kilometers probably about 25 30 miles to go and uh, I remember why I don't like winter and driving in the winter or anything to do with winter because look at these wipers that streak in the wipers is driving me nuts that streak right there and not only the wipers look at this uh, consumption let me just pull up the consumption here yeah the consumption a whopping since i've been driving for like two minutes now a whopping 386 and now it's starting to come down as i start to drive okay after almost 15 minutes 14 minutes we've uh, dropped our consumption down to just over 200 212 that's pretty decent and as you take a look over here for the last 10 kilometers, it's been up and down, and uh, we've leveled out pretty decently. And that's our projected range, which isn't bad. That's the battery pack. That's the projected range. Not bad. And that's our average consumption. Oh, look, it's just dropping below 200 now. That's also because we're only doing 23 kilometers an hour, and we're stuck in rush hour traffic. So as you can see from the battery, um, you know, it charged up. I didn't charge it because of the our energy rates here in Ontario. I didn't charge it before I left the house, but what I did is I let it warm up there, the cabin heat for about 10-15 about minutes. But as you can see, it's still, we've lost some regen there. We're limited regen just because of the temperature. Let me uh, speed up here a little bit. There we go. As you can see, folks, our uh, regen is limited there because, um, you know, the battery pack is still cold, even though the 10 minutes that I warmed up the car for the interior wasn't enough to actually warm up the battery pack. So hopefully by the time I get on the highway, uh, and where I get to where I'm going, the battery pack will be warm. I mean, I know it's backwards. If I had a choice, I would have actually charged the battery pack up and um, in turn would have actually warmed the battery pack up at the same time. But the way our energy rates are, are here in Ontario, uh, I couldn't do that because I'd be paying a uh, crap load for um, energy this time of day. So that's why I didn't do it. I'm cheap, call me cheap, I'm pretty cheap. But looking at our consumption here, you can see that that's where we started out when I first started. And uh, it's been tapering off ever so slowly, going up and down just, just for lights and stuff like that. But it's doing pretty good. We're getting down pretty good now. You know, it's funny, I'm giving you all these stats. It is uh, two or three degrees Celsius out, so it's not even that cold yet. Come winter, when it's actually like minus 10, minus 20, that's what I want to see. That'll be the true test of winter. That'll be a good, good test on the battery pack and see how it is. Uh, and um, not looking forward to it but I am curious to know how the uh, battery pack will hold up to that because that'll be the true test right now it's two right now it's showing three degrees it's cold enough 
but um, that's the consumption. What I'm actually really interested in knowing is the regen, uh, it, whether it's come back or not with the temperatures dropping. And like I said, it's three degrees, so it's pretty close to freezing. It's, it's, a, it's a little ways away. Um, it's only a little tiny bit away. So I want to see if um, with the compound, the rubber compound of the snow tires, the winter tires, if um, it gets stiffer and then the car detects that and uh, senses that because that's what I suspect. I suspect with this lack of regen, this is my suspicion. The rubber compound on winter tires, as we know, uh, really only kicks in and really does well when it's really cold out, when it gets minus. Here, I'm gonna, t actually, let me test out the regen right here. We're at 75. No, it's still not there yet. Folks, it's still not there yet. Uh, but it slowed down there pretty good. Anyways, this is my theory on regen with uh, winter tires and how we've lost it to some extent. Winter tires is a, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert on this, but from what I understand, my limited knowledge, uh, winter tires uh, have a softer rubber compound that um, gets activated and the true winter, the true properties and uh, uh, practicality of the winter rubber only comes into effect when it's cold out, like when it's, I guess minus minus zero or, or below minus zero when it's freezing out. So the tire gets harder and the rubber gets harder. So what I think is happening with the Model 3 is it's calibrated, the regen or the computer system or the car itself is calibrated to, um, how do I word this? It's calibrated to the summer tires and the, the stiffness or the rubber compound of the summer tires. So when it detects, when it's like 10 degrees or 15 degrees, like when I got my tires put on it detects the rubber being softer and mushier and the treads being mushier it thinks in theory it thinks that the car is slipping so it's limiting the region but what I think is happening or what I think needs to happen is when we go below freezing and we get minus temperatures and the tires get stiffer or the rubber gets stiffer and the treads get stiffer then the car will think it's normal just like summertime and the harder compound of rubber and I think then our regen will come back. That is if Tesla engineers don't push a fix or some adjustment to it before then, because, you know, I hear they're working on it. From all of what I've read online and stuff like that, uh, the engineers are working on it. They see and they detect that it is an issue. I don't think they'll ever come out and say it's a problem. They'll say it's an issue. So they're working on it. What I think they may end up doing is just throw a, a software update where we can have a little button that'll toggle winter uh, on or off and you just press winter and then that'll give you a whole new calibration or settings for winter tires uh, when we don't need it that truck looks like it's smoking when we don't need it um, we just toggle it off and then just go back to default or summer rain uh, not rain summer default or summer setting or mode so I think that's what they could do um, the engineers are a lot smarter than me, so they may come up with something brilliant and a lot more complex than that, or maybe a lot more simple than that, that I'm not thinking about. So that's what I think it is in a nutshell. The regen, like I said, it's three degrees out. It is colder, but it, the regen still isn't there yet. Um, the compound, I'm sure, on the, on the snow tires have stiffened up a little bit, but still not there. Anyways, folks, that's all I got. I got to get out from behind this tanker truck he is doing it we're on a highway he's doing 85 i mean i know it's uh not the best weather out but it's not like treacherous or anything i don't know why he's doing 85. thanks for watching please like and subscribe uh, and if you got any uh ideas or comments or anything any suggestions ideas or comments leave it in the comment section below uh if you paid attention to me and my videos you've seen that i'm very uh, active uh in responding to your comments and uh giving you input and feedback and stuff like that See you on the next one, folks. Take care. This damn wiper. This is what you got to do in Canada. The old famous Canadian reach around is what I call it. Works every time.